Moving to the next question, which is 51. Let's read it. Maximum number of spectral lines obtained by the transition of electron from n is equals to 5 to n is equals to 1 for hydrogen atom is. Student, there is a formula to calculate total number of spectral lines and that is, I am writing it, number of spectral lines is equals to n, n minus 1 upon 2. So, 5, 5 minus 1 upon 2 which is equals to 10. That means the correct answer here is option number 4. Going to the next question, students, which is question number 52. Let's read it, student. If energy of electron in second excited state of hydrogen atom is minus x kilojoule per mole, then energy in kilojoule per mole of electron in the first excited state of helium ion is. Student, first we have to relate this and then we'll be calculating the value of energy for this. Let's start. Here we are given that the energy of electron in the second excited state. Second excited state means the third shell. For hydrogen atom, the value of Z is equals to 1 and the data is given which is minus x kilojoule per mole. So, student, let's put the values. We know the energy of electron in the third shell which is equals to minus. Let's take the constant as k z square upon n square. Here the value of z is 1 since we are talking about hydrogen atom. So, 1 square, then the value of n is third, is 3, since we are given with second excited state. So, 3 square, which is already given, which is minus x. That means we can relate the constant k with x. k is equals to 9x. Now, students, we can calculate the energy of electron present in the first excited state of helium ion. Here, first excited state means n is equals to 2. And for helium ion, the value of z is 2. So, let's put the values here. Energy of electron in the second shell is equals to minus k z square upon n square. The value of k is 9x. We have already calculated. So, minus 9x. The value of z is 2. The value of n is also 2. That means the energy of electron in the second shell or the first excited state in um, of helium ion will be minus 9x kilojoule per mole. That means the correct answer for this question is option number 3. Moving to the next question which is question number 53. Let's read it. The wavelength associated with an electron moving with a velocity of 10 raised to the power 5 meter per second is we are given with the value of h that is Planck's constant which is 6 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second and the mass of electron which is 9 into 10 to the power minus 31 kilogram. So, student for this question we know that um, the wavelength is equal to h upon mv so, let's put the values here. 6 into 10 raised to the power minus 34 upon the value of mass is 9 into 10 raised to the power minus 31 into 10 raised to the power 5. After solving this equation, we get the value of lambda is equal to 6.66 into 10 raised to the power minus 9 meter, which is approximately equals to 6.66 nanometer. That means the correct answer for this question is option number 2. Moving to the next question, which is question number 54. 2 mole of an ideal gas expands from 1 liter to 10 liter reversibly and isothermally at 250 Kelvin. The work done in the process is. So, student, for this question, we need to know the formula to calculate work for a reversible process, which is equals to minus 2.5. 303 nrt log v final upon v initial so let's put the values here minus 2.303 the value of n is 2 so multiplied by 2 the value of r is 2 is already given multiplied by temperature which is 250 kelvin log v final is 10 v initial is 1 so 10 upon 1 is log 10 which is equals to 1 
So student, I have multiplied this and on multiplying this, we get the value minus 2.303 into 1000 calorie, which is equals to minus 2.303 kilocalorie. That means the correct answer is option number one. Moving to the next question, students, which is question number 55. Let's read it. State function among the following is R. Student here, delta S is a state function, delta G is a state function, and Q plus W is equals to delta U, which is also a state function. That means all the given options are state functions. So the correct answer is option number four. Moving to the next question. Mm -hmm. 